Hey everyone, this is Uthris, and welcome to Let's Build Lothloria episode 21. So, last episode, we went ahead and added some details around in one of the new manor houses, which is right down there. And on this episode, as promised, we are working outside the wall today. Off camera, I did a bunch of terrain sculpting. I'm trying to get a nice layered effect for all the farms, and uh, I have a spot kind of planned out for the windmill. But that's not what we're building today. Off screen, I also built um, a stables. So th this is kind of like the 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 basic stables of the town. I think the actual like military stables, like where they would keep all the nice horses and everything, would actually be in a small town over there just with its own fortification and everything. In fact, I'm probably going to turn that into a military encampment for the city because there's just not enough room to make a large horse training area and stables to house all the horses. Um, I mean, most of the town folk that just go about their day-to-day -day lives in the town probably don't own a horse. They're a very expensive thing, I would hope so. So it, it just doesn't make sense to have a very large stables near the actual city itself. There's stables here for travelers to like, you know, park their horses overnight or so and they can stay in the tavern and then leave. So we'll go ahead and showcase this a little bit. So this is kind of the basic look. We have uh, two outside areas. Um, these are fairly large. I don't know how many horse, how big horses would be in this scale. So I would assume maybe two horses per each of these. Um, you just park them side by side. And then when you go inside the actual stables, I'm missing some fences now apparently, but there was going to be enough for four more horses. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fences back. My game has been crashing a little bit and I think, I don't know if I'm just hitting the limit of how many objects I can have. So this video may be a little short-lived. Who knows? So yeah, so they have a ramp. They can get their horses in and out of the building. The side little shelters. And then this is where the stable master would be staying. And uh, he would be sleeping here and taking care of his needs in this area. Now I plan to kind of make the rest of this little plateau just kind of a field. Um, if there's not enough room there and if it's a nice day, they can just leave their horse out on the field and uh, check on them later. I mean, it, it will be watched for and cared for whether it's in the barn or not. That's kind of the goal. So that there's, there's enough space to put horses. So this is going to be the structure to build this episode. It's going to be the trading depot. Um, if you know, if, if there's large shipments coming in of supplies, they will drop it off here and then the citizens would actually pick it up here and cart it inside to the storehouse. You don't really want giant wagons going through these main gates and kind of cluttering up all the streets. It just doesn't make sense to. And it was suggested to build, so I'm building it which is the best way to uh, start a building, I would think so. I'm getting a lot of weird uh, lighting problems, but I think that's just because of the time of the day that I stopped the day-night cycle at. So before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a little bit of the train, and kind of what I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing kind of a little zigzag path down to here and uh, I don't know where I want the, I think the exit will probably be over here. So, you know, people would zigzag and work their way up through farms and uh, small houses up to the actual castle and do business. And again, on this hill, there's going to be a fairly large fortification. And then over here, I think on this hill is the spot that I'm going to choose to have the windmill going to be a fairly large structure. It's going to spin. I'm even going to try and incorporate a millstone 
um, the thing that actually ground, grinds the flour by the windmills turning. So we'll, we'll see if I can get that to work in any sense or make it at least look like it could work. And so we'll just go ahead and get started on building this. I'm going to go ahead and try and mess with the time just a little bit just to bring bring some light back so I can see what's going on. Huh. I think the day-night cycle is still on. It's just not a minute. It's, oh well, I might have to just reset it every now and then. So yeah, the store, the what is this, depot, it's going to basically be a wooden dock area. I'm going to have maybe a small lift slash crane here to unload and put things on here in a small store room and then a offloading area over here where you would take things out of the store room load it up into a cart that would be parked on this side and then you can move that into the town so that's what we're gonna get working on today and here we go I might need to set up my hot bar I don't really want to do too many skips right now so we're just gonna have to put up with some things if they're not looking quite right. There and there, and we'll go ahead and use the double entry. That way it's centered on this even kind of building. I mean, in fact, we could probably use it on this side as well. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, people would be carrying the items through the doors or not, and maybe there might be some dry storage on the actual platform itself. So I don't I don't see any issue with having a small door for like barrels and crates. A little bit more valuable things and some dry storage for maybe just the the logs and raw base materials, stone and everything. This is actually going to be a pretty quick building. Maybe we'll build a farmhouse afterwards. So that's that shape, and we'll go ahead and I guess work on the crane. And you guys don't really see me do many engineering tasks, so I'll go ahead and give this a go. And I think I may want to try and use this. somehow. I think there's a good spot. And we can actually center up our wonderful pieces of lumber on here. Like so. And I think I need to drag a catch block down to my bar here. I think if I do that, I can actually center a catch block onto it. This is the one that we might be able to actually get to spin, which would be a pretty nice feature, I think. So yeah, definitely, definitely up on a platform, which is nice. And we can timber round. We'll go ahead and extend that up. Just one block for now. And do that. I think that's even on all sides. Now I don't know how well the spinning action will do. In fact, I'm going to have to get rid of the spinning action. Um, there's just no way to hook it up unless it's actually on the ground fully. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Fill that in. Again, I, ha I haven't messed too much with just pure engineering 
items. Um, I've been just kind of focused on getting the town built first and foremost. So, excuse me if you, you guys probably know a, a better way to do this anyways. So, if, if you do, let me know and I'll see if I can't work on something off camera. raise it up like so and you know just just a little bit taller thinking like that that might work Then a little bit of a area over here that might kind of look like the counterweight. I'm definitely better at building a little bit more aesthetically rather than utilitarian, but uh, you know I can I can get it to work I think. There's the back end. There's that. We'll go ahead. Now, if I remember correctly, it was about... If I do that... Um, basically, I need to try and make the spindle line up on this thing in the center so that it, it looks nice and actually looks like it could function. I mean, it will function. I mean, it will, it will definitely spin and I need to change the time of day. And it's broken again. As always. Whatever. Just gonna have to keep plucking along. Oh, there you have it. So that's the crane head holding the rotating part. Oh, come on. You silly son. It, like, still thinks it's nighttime. Okay. I mean, we're, we're probably just going to have to let it cycle through. I, I can't fiddle with it too much. Just uh, if it gets dark, I might have to lay down some torches or something. It'll give me a, a bit of a survival feel, which is kind of nice, I would think. I'm kind of curious to see if they have any anything planned that's hostile beyond just barbarians or players because if, if there's going to be uh you know wildlife that would be pretty cool you know bears and uh I would say wolves but those are those are just so stereotypical maybe bobcats bobcats would be cool you know so, something threatening that you, you just not super common coyote maybe but that's just so wolf like Cross members here. Boom, boom, boom. Like so. Um. Whoa! Hello, nighttime. You guys probably cannot see anything. 
my character's eyes will adjust, so maybe maybe you guys will hear in a second. I'll have to see what it's like in editing. If it's even visible or not. Yeah, I would have to say it's probably not. So I'll just go ahead and do that. It looks like once it becomes evening and you try and backtrack time, it, it freaks out. So maybe you should let the day start past midnight and then move it forward. Because I don't think it deals very well with time travel. So there's that. And I'll go ahead and make a gear here. I mean, of course, you'd, you you would prefer to have something here that would like rotate and be a little bit more functional. I don't think I like how large those pieces were. You know, when, when building cranes, I would think that putting supports in key locations to make it look like, oh, well, that makes sense. They put it there because, you know, there's a lot of stress in that location. You know, that that's kind of the natural progression when building these. Now, I prefer to put my gears. I call them gears. They're just basically connected rope. Um, I like to put in on them on the end of these little plus signs. Some people put them here. It doesn't matter as long as you know they're matching up on both ends. So you, you know you can get it to work no matter what. But I can put it here and, and the nice thing about that is it leaves this face open and I could actually connect this part to somewhere else and the back face to somewhere else and it would still be functional and I think that's why I do it that way so go ahead and do a spindle on this side that spindle a uh, shoot what is this called again? catch block? I'm like spacing out a little bit because Doing things like this, you, you kind of lose out on a bit of commentary. So this needs to go out. I think one more. And then I can put the block on it. Yeah, the problem is, it just did a little bit of a free spin. And when you connect these up, you, you really want to make sure they're as close to the same position as possible. It'll prevent your gears from um, locking up on you and just makes the overall action smoother. And it's just spinning around, spinning around. That's what it does. Now you can put a handle on these and, and kind of fine tune it, but I, sometimes I just do it this way because I'm lazy and do things inefficiently most of the time. Let's see. We'll just go ahead and hook these up so they don't move anywhere. Like so. So, you know, you connect them to opposite well, the mirrored points on each other, and so when one end turns, it kind of pulls on each other, and they both spin. It's kind of the logic behind these and how they work. Now, the game will probably have its own gear types. I don't expect them to actually remove this ever. Um, I don't even know if they intended it to be in the game and work like this. It's just something people found. But gears, I think, will serve a different function because right now, to do gears, we have to do this manual kind of gear uh, fitting things together to do gear ratios, and that's just kind of a hassle. And I think the item that they might add will just make that part easier, but keep this kind of rope chain look. 
I think that'll be actually pretty nice. So, the problem with this is it's pretty much lining up to the wall there. So, to get this to work, I'm going to have to do something to it to make it, well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, they can be off-center by like a block. It does, you, you lose a little bit of efficiency. So, and I've been kind of rambling on in this episode a whole bunch. So, in fact, I'm going to do a skip here. I mean, it's been 20 minutes. It's really no, it's going nowhere pretty quick. So, I'll be right back once this is finished. And I can show you guys kind of the finished trading depot and area around it. Okay, so this is the finished trade depot. Um, this is where we would put our supplies for import-export and wait for a trade caravan to come to here because you don't want a giant cart going through the center of your town. The crane does work in an up and down fashion. There's an extra spindle here to actually pull it from that location over to here and I can go ahead and then just kind of showcase that a little bit by attaching it there. You can kind of pull objects that are hanging from here over so you can take it off and set it down on the deck. It's kind of the idea behind that. Uh, the deck space, you know, is for dry storage. So you can put your, your lumber here. You can put stone or anything of that sort. Maybe some extra barrels. You know, just things that are getting ready to move in and out. Here is just some miscellaneous storage. Um, this is the main part of the storehouse for like chests and barrels and other miscellaneous supplies. This side deck is for coming and going between the city and here. The main deck is for everyone else like coming from a different location to here or shipping from this location to somewhere else. So yeah, that's that's the nice little little depot we have. I, I think the area looks fairly nice and quaint. Maybe once I get a little bit of a ranch theme going off this, it might look a little bit better. And then, you know, with all the fields and farmhouses, I think it's just all going to come together and tie in really nicely with the town. And, of course, the battlement that's going to be on that hill. So that'll do it for this video. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.